Hello there. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And uh, we've got some fun stuff for you today. Yes. I feel like we say that a lot, but I feel like it's just because we have a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. Now, one of the things that the show pony has told me as he's been reading the comments is that a lot of you've been asking to see the dried results. Yes. And you know, the weather here in Texas has been a little crazy. So things are taking a lot longer to dry than normal. <laughs> longer, in fact, than when we've been getting to edit and then premiere our next episode. But yeah. we do have the pause from the last episode four for mm. you. Now, that was the pink negative space pause. Yes. I did a dustpan and the show pony just did a ring, ring pour. pour. Mm -hmm. We would normally show you these at the end, but we're going to show them right now instead. How about that? So um, let's see those pours from the last episode. All right, show pony, show them your pour. All right. I am loving this. It just... It just speaks to me, like everything about it. I love the colors. I love the composition of it. I just think that this came out amazing. You said it was you, you think you, you said, I don't know why I can't speak today. You said that you think this was your best ever pour. Oh, one of my best. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's just it. stunning. I think it's a beautiful composition. I love the way you manipulated the piece. Yeah, this is like a good 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, thank you. Well done. All right, so let me show you mine. So this my paw um a lot more negative space on this one than you've got on yours show yeah. pony um it's um again beautiful dustpan ring paw love the colors on this one oh, that it's so pretty color at the top is all shine because it was actually the iridescent white and then it had some of that deep violet in it so it's yeah. so shiny and we've got liquitex gloss medium in this pour so it's really really beautiful so pretty yeah thank you you guys loved these ones just as much as we did so we wanted to show you them dry all right so to today's pour yes what's exciting about this one is that we're using tlps yeah. This little piggy pigments. Um, there's about to be some brand new releases of some colors in January. And before the new colors came out, we wanted to really start playing with the old colors just to make sure that we could use them in a pour just like we do Amsterdam paints, golden paints, and all the yeah. other acrylics, right? Because pigments are basically what those paints are made from. We should be able to use these in exactly the same way. Yes. And we don't use house paint. So when we try these and put them into our pores, we're not gonna be using any deep base or anything like that. We're gonna be using just our traditional pouring mediums to see if they work. Yeah. So today we've got Constellation and Mermaid. And Which we, are stunning. Super beautiful. I mean, they're, they're probably two of my top 10 favorite colors <laughs> of their 71 yeah. that they have. And um, we're gonna mix them with Liquitex Gloss Medium, Floetrol and Mix to get them to a consistency that we can use them mm. in a pour. We'll tell you a little bit more about that at the table. All right, well. Let's get to the table. <laughs> we'll see you there. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I am super excited about today's pour. And yeah, I'm just excited. <laughs> uh, I know, I get so excited. Mm -hmm. um, today, I'm gonna be doing the Grenade pour. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Excited so, for that. I got my push pin in here mm -hmm. uh, with my cup, and uh, I got a 14 by 18 inch canvas that has been uh, pinned and taped on the bottom. Okay. Um, it's not the only exciting thing about today's pour. No, it's not. Yes. The other exciting thing about today's pour are we are using in our color scheme this little piggy's constellation and mermaid uh -huh. and i just have to show you please these luscious colors right here i mean look at that how beautiful that is so would you like me to tell you so how gorgeous. i mix that yeah sure so i I'm, I'm trying to get the best consistency i can out of these without using house paint because I, I just don't want to use house paint with yeah. the rest of the pool that we got so i dispersed the piggies in the liquitex gloss medium which uh -huh. we always use anyway yes i left that overnight uh -huh. and then i added half mix half flow troll oh okay so that got it to a nice thick consistency and i feel like we got a really good color in the pour yeah in the pot we're gonna, sorry we're gonna definitely try it all out so. yeah 
And I'm interested, we're not gonna put any more pearls in with these colors because we really wanna see how these stand up against the tube paints. Yes, exactly. What are the other colors you're using, Show Pony? Um, I'm using, what is this, Deep Violet? Uh-huh, for Liquitex Basics. Uh, Liquitex Basics. Brilliant Blue. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I got Prussian Blue. Golden. Which looks so dark on camera. It is dark. <laughs> it is a dark, dark blue. Of course, Deco Arts Metallics 24 karat gold. I feel like nature is is conspiring against us. We've got the bugs it's, in the zapper. We've got the leaves like rolling oh around gosh. outside. And it's like 30 degrees. So yeah, yeah it's crazy. Like, yeah, it's really crazy outside. It's, right it's like, I feels like one of those disaster movies. Right, like, you the know. beginnings of one. Exactly. I'm just waiting for an earthquake. 2022 <laughs> in a world where everything is against you. Two gay guys are gonna pour in their garage. <laughs> All right, fool, let's do this. Oh, you're the one being foolish. You're yeah. the fool. Um, okay, so. Are you gonna flood your cameras first? Or are you gonna pour your pot first? I am going to pour my pot first. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to flood Fl my canvas. Are you dirty layering or are you layering layering? I'm dirty, dirty pouring. So you can do yeah. it right there I in the sure middle can. of your canvas. That would be amazing. Right there. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. What am I gonna pour into? I would suggest probably not the TLPs. No. I think I'm gonna... And you don't have to put too thick of a layer. No. I think starting out with that's good. I like that. I like that too. I look at a lot. I look at a lot. Let me pour two up high for that. Now these are leftover paints from previous pours to yeah. get these all to the same consistency. A couple of them we added like a drop of water, a couple of them we added a little bit extra mix. There's the 24K. But they I'm are- Trying to be very gentle with that I one. saw that, I saw that. But they are pretty much the same consistency. Now I would say to you, don't be too light-handed with the TLPs. I really want to see these bad boys in your pour. Well, you're going to get to see them. I just did. Some constellations. Ooh. Right. I mean, them two colors on their own are just stunning. Oh, they're gorgeous. Guess how many colors TLP have? How many colors does TLP have? Well, Matt, that was my question. Um, a hundred. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, no, 71. <laughs> but if you, if, you, if you compare that to Golden or Arteza or Amsterdam, I know for a fact they don't have 81 or 71 different colors. Right. Because there's not 71 different colors of Amsterdam paints because we got most of them on our shelf. So I was really surprised that TLP has so many pigments, which just gives you so much blooming choice. Yeah. I really hope that we get to use these pigments effectively because I would like 81 or 71 new colors in the studio, wouldn't you? I would love that. Yeah, me kidding? too. I gotta say, it looks like Mardi Gras in a cup right now. It does. It looks like a carnival. It does. Actually, if this one works out, that's exactly what we'll call this. The North Wind doth blow. Wow, it's like really little tornadoes outside. What are they called? Dust, dust devils or whatever? Dust bunnies? Dust devils, whenever the little Tornadoes happen. I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, little mini tornadoes. We're happen. in dervishes. <laughs> okay. So that is your cup filled? Yes, that's my cup filled. Ah, I really like that. Thank you. I and you too. I'm now you're going to, to base coat your canvas? Yes, I'm going to pour a base coat. Now you didn't tell everyone this color, but it is Payne's Gray. It is Payne's Gray. But I've mixed it with electric blue. So it's gone this really beautiful inky color. Yeah, it's like this beautiful indigo color, which I'm in love with. I know you liked the Pebeo indigo. No, oh no, Amsterdam, Amsterdam India. Yeah, so yeah. I tried to kind of match it. So that yeah. is Payne's Gray and electric, pearl electric blue. That's and beautiful. I think it was a really good match. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Yeah, okay. I love this color. All right, guys, so I got my cup here. Now it's time to flip us, cup us onto this canvas and then pull this pin. Let's do it. 
Pretty good, pretty good. You like that one, big boy? Yeah, that was good. Okay. I'm glad about that. Now, the good thing about the pin in the paint pot is you don't have to sit and wait for five minutes for all those colors to drip down because the, exactly. it's actually this, the suction of the air coming yeah. in that pushes the paint out. Yeah. And are you lipping this one? I will. I think I am going to lip this. Okay, go for yeah. it. Wow, there was a, and it's traveling. There was a healthy pop right there. Wow, that TLP uh, mermaid is just gorgeous. Wow, this is pretty stunning. Um, I just want to torch it off. Let me grab it for you. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. I don't know what time it is. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. guys this is me done i am loving that mermaid and constellation i mean look at this purple like through here this whole all this constellation yeah anything it's that so looks violet amazing. anything that looks violet yeah. is the constellation and then you have this mermaid that's like going all the way through here yeah you can oh my gosh really, you can really so, see it and i so love beautiful. i love how it's interacting with the gold mm -hmm. absolutely okay yeah i'm loving the gold cells that i got i love this this little highlight right here right i like that um yeah i am done so excited about this one all right, guys, I'm going to get my edges. I'm going to torch it one more time, get my edges, and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it.
Oh, well, hello, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> Welcome back. Jeremy, I gotta say, I really, really do love that. I mean, I love all of your grenade pods because they're just such a beautiful cosmic composition, but I'm really hoping that those TLP pigments dry really nicely in that recipe that we've used because right now they're stunning. So I'm excited to see what happens with those yeah, once they too. dry. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna use exactly the same colors as Jeremy, but I do have one addition. I threw in some iridescent pearl white nice. because I'm gonna do a straight pour and I do wanna have the ability there to create some extra layers yeah. in the straight pour. Got so that's it. the only reason why I'm somewhat cheating, people may well say. Um, and I've got a 16 by 16 inch canvas. So it's a nice square canvas. That's why I thought I would do a lovely straight pour I may wreck it. That's the only thing that I'm kind of considering right now, but we will see. Mm. All right, show pony, are you ready for me to layer this cup? I am ready. I've got a 16 ounce cup here. I definitely won't need it all, but I'll probably go fairly high up. So I've got some extra to pour off. I'm going to do it right here if I may. So um, I'm going to start off with a center of brilliant blue with a little white. and a little gold. And then I want to go dark. Okay. Now let's get some of these piggies in here. See how these stand up in a beautiful ring pour. Okay, nice healthy layer. Let's go in with some of the violet. And then some of this constellation. In the cups, these are stunning. Such cool colors, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna go dark again. Okay, let's put a little bit of gold. A little bit of white. And then let's go back in with some of the light blue. Let's do some more piggies. Nice layer. Let's do that same layer again with the wonderful deep violet and then some of the constellation. They're definitely the constellation and the mermaid are my two favorite oh, they're piggy gorgeous. colors. I mean, this actually I say that, but then I pick up two more and I think they're my favorite because they're stunning. All right, that is my layered cup. So that's what I'm going to do for a straight pour. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. So I've got this really beautiful layered cup and I'm gonna dry pour this one onto this camera. So I'm not gonna put a base coat down, but I will put a flow extender instead. Yeah. I contemplated putting a puddle of gold, but I've got gold layers in my cup, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna pour this one straight onto the canvas. So straight pour fashion, let's do it. All right, it's a little dark on camera here, but what I can tell you is I can absolutely see all of the colors here. Really yeah. excited to see what happens with these as we stretch them out. So I'm gonna use the same flow extender color. This is the color that I made using Payne's Gray and then the Pearl Electric Blue by Arteza. Let's get this one around the pour. I'm excited about this one as it's just been sitting as I've been putting my base coat around. Some wonderful things are happening in the center. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, so I'm really excited to see as this what happens with this one as we stretch it out. And Jeremy, it's tilting time. It is tilting time. Let's stretch this bad boy out.
Holy moly, peoples. I love this. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but there is shimmer and shine on every angle of this thing. It's so pretty. And I think it's because actually what is on here the most is probably the constellation and the mermaid. Yeah. That's what's giving me these wonderful highlights and lowlights in the dark Prussian blue yeah. over here. Really pretty, I like this one a lot. Real fan of this. So I'm going to scrape my edges. I'm gonna to torch this one off one last time and I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. That's awesome. Thank you guys. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. TLPs, T to the L to the P. What did you think, Show Pony? I thought it was awesome. I loved the colors. I loved how they all mixed together. Mm -hmm. The TLPs were amazing. Right. Like you could see them really clearly defined in the in the composition. Um, I loved it. You know? I loved it too. So we made sure that the TLPs were just as thick in consistency mm -hmm. as the rest of the paints, yep. which is tough to get a powder to be like a thick yeah. pudding-like consistency, yeah. especially when your pouring mediums aren't always super thick. Yeah. Um, but the addition of the Liquitex gloss medium, liquid, the mix in there with the flow troll really worked. We're gonna try some different combinations, some different recipes, but this one for us, in a wet piece looked fantastic and I, I love loved it. your pour. Oh my God, like the, mer the mermaid and the constellation were all over your pour. Yeah. Just like mine. Yeah. My goodness, like that, getting as crisp of a highlight and a low light next to that Payne's gray or the Prussian mm. blue, I yeah. should say, in my straight pour, I was really surprised actually. Yeah. I didn't think that they would work quite so well in the straight pour. They did. They really, really did. And um, I had parts of my corner that I really wanted to tilt off. First off, it was just too much of the deep violet. Then it went to Payne Prussian Blue. Yeah. Um, or Payne's Grey, maybe. Um, but I really liked then that final composition. Yeah, I love these. I'm yeah. so excited to show you these dry. Yeah, I can't wait. Hopefully you'll be able to see them in Friday's episode and we'll let you know just how they look. Fingers crossed. All right, so just a quick reminder, in Sunday's episode, the Meet Your Maker Recreation Pour, we asked you to vote either Angel Wing or, or Swipe. Dustin. Or sorry, Swipe. <laughs> Angel Wing or Swipe. Angel not, Wing or Swipe. Not Dustpan, in fact. Uh, and please do that on the episode that was aired on Sunday. It was the Meet Your Maker Showdown Recreation Pour, yes. where we just poured those two pieces. So if yeah. you didn't see us do them, go check them out. It's really fun. And, uh, and we'll be picking someone at random tomorrow and we'll be doing that pour on Sunday, either the swipe or the angel wing. Or yes. almost said dustpan. <laughs> been all your fault. Um, other than that, guys, that's it. If you joined us here on the chat, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, we appreciate you. Um, if you don't already follow us on TikTok or on Instagram, it's Massey Art Studio, just like here on YouTube. And that's the same name as our Facebook account too. Yeah. So you can see us all over the place if you so wish. But what we would really love you to do is just hit, click that subscribe button and be here with us for as long as you can. Yeah, that means the world to us. It really does. All right, guys, go and enjoy your Tuesday. We will be back here on Friday. I think mm -hmm. Nate is definitely premiering. I think he's going at 7.45 Central. Mm -hmm. So Nate Bright Art, he's doing some really wonderful stuff right now. His last yeah. one was fantastic, and I've seen this one. Ombre Blue and White, How amazing. So go and check it out. And um, we'll see you back here on Friday. Yeah. All right, guys, have a great week. Oh. Oh. One last thing. Oh. It's Mina Villegas's 50th birthday <gasps> on Thursday, the 6th of January. Uh-oh. Now, we were trying to get her to 50K, but it's not going to happen before Thursday. So it, the hashtag has changed to 50 450. 
so it's 50k for 50 years old um, but please go and pour out as much love as you can on the lovely Mina Vallegas for yeah. her 50th birthday we all love Mina we do indeed all right that's it get on with it guys <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go spank the patrons and we'll see you back here on Friday bye, bye guys, guys. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah, who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage. Lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massiar Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the platinum patrons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her, I love her. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles! Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studio. Absolutely. Thank you guys.